Hey, yeah, I've come to my local park again to do a video to share of a choice I made a while ago. Um, hence, I've got this oar in the middle. And the choice I was faced with was between deciding to make myself emotionally self reliant or to decide to make myself emotionally dependent. Now, for me, emotional dependency means essentially means what I need to do is to choose who to follow, who to trust. Okay? So that means that I have to find out what's popular, what other people think, what their opinions are, and whether I like them or not. Okay? So my fundamental big choice is who do I trust, whose opinion do I follow. And then what happens is, is my I seem to build, I build my friends with people who have the same opinion. Okay? Now what happened to me, what forced me into this choice, was that having made the choice who to follow, trusted who to follow, whose opinions to follow, it clearly wasn't working for me. Okay, I wasn't, all the opinions just, just didn't hit me, they didn't help me, they didn't work for me. So I was then faced with this choice of, do I go back, carry on being emotionally dependent, which means I've now got to go back out into the world, find someone different to follow, find another opinion to follow, to go back through the process and rebuild my friends around the people who think that new opinion way. Okay? Of course, I still run the risk, because in several years' time, I find out that that opinion didn't work for me. Anyway, I could choose to carry on being emotionally dependent just on someone else. Or, I discovered, I can focus myself on becoming emotionally self-reliant. And by that, it appears to me anyway, is that this means following my heart, following my instincts, following my emotions, following my intuition. But in order for me to do that, I discovered, what I had to do is trust myself to manage the darker negative side of my heart. Okay? Because I know if I follow my heart, if you like dark negative emotions come over, I'm going to make some really dumb decisions. So I've got to be able to manage that so that that never happens. Okay? I always replace my negative darker sides with more positive forward-looking emotions before I do anything. And I have to do that myself, because that's what it is to be self-reliant. And the technique that worked brilliantly for me, or works brilliant for me, was, um, believe it or not, that's a mirror, <laughs> trying to be a mirror, is I look into the mirror and I talk to myself. I structure my thoughts for myself and I develop my abilities to, if you like, write the negative emotion, write something positive and then make a choice to replace the negative with a positive. But this is all a conversation with myself in the mirror, if you like. And of course, then what happened is my friends, I'll just get the <laughs> leaf blown over, my friends here, effectively from the heart, people who like me for who I am, they like the what I stand for as, a, as an emotional person. So my friends become, my relationships, all become based on the heart. Okay? So that was the choice I made, was it to be make myself self-reliant or to tally up again and try and be emotionally dependent. Okay, there's those church bells again. <laughs> Hopefully won't go on for long, so I'll carry on. Okay, so my choice was emotional dependent, follow other people's opinions, or become emotionally self-reliant and teach myself to manage the negative side of my heart so that I always follow the positive side. And basically I chose this one to be emotionally self-reliant and I haven't looked back since. Okay, so I guess I just wanted to do is share the choice that I made. Um, I don't know, just because I wanted to share it. <laughs> so I hope, I hope somehow it might help you realize that or maybe see or understand that you too have the same choice. You're free to make it whichever way which works for you. Okay? Thanks a lot. Have a great day.